Dimensional analysis is a technique that we use in chemistry and a variety of other fields to allow us to convert units or solve problems in a consistent and simplified manner. It's really based on one very simple principle, which is that if we have any number and we multiply it by 1, it does not change the value of that number. Now, you are actually fairly familiar with doing this. Uh, you've probably done this many times throughout your life. Is whenever you have a relationship between two units, for example, 12 inches equals one foot, we can actually rearrange this equivalency so that we can get all of the units on one side. I can do this one of two ways. I could divide both sides by one foot. And you'll notice that we have one fraction, 12 inches, over one foot. But if we have one foot divided by one foot, that is going to give us the value of one. Because anything divided by itself is going to give us one. We can do this the same way. 12 inches equals one foot. Divide both sides by 12 inches instead. And we get 12 inches divided by 12 inches is 1 equals 1 foot over 12 inches. This actually gives us what we call two different conversion factors. This is our con one conversion factor, and this is another. Any equivalency can give us two different conversion factors. Conversion factors allow us to convert between two different units that are in the same that are measuring the same dimension. In this case, we have 12 inches equals one foot, and one foot equals 12 inches. For example, if I have a measurement of 60 inches and I want to convert that into feet, I can use one of these conversion factors to get me from inches to feet. The way I identify, I start with the value I know, and I want to get this into feet. I'm going to multiply by a fraction, and the fraction here is going to be one of my conversion factors. It may help you to put your, your initial value over the value of 1 since any number can be rewritten as a fraction by putting it over 1. Notice our units here of inches. We can get rid of inches by having inches in the denominator of our fraction. This is the conversion factor that has inches in the bottom of the fraction, so we're going to use that conversion factor. If I multiply through, I have inches on the top here, inches on the bottom, so those are both going to cancel out. If we have the same unit on the top and the bottom of a fraction, it's going to cancel. 60 times 1 divided by 12, so I have 60 divided by 12 feet. I can do the math on this. 60 divided by 12 gives me 5 feet. Dimensional analysis gives us the ability to take any equivalence, whether it's units or a temporary equivalence that comes from a problem, and turn it into two different conversion factors. One of those conversion factors 
it's bound to help us in these types of, of conversions. We'll see dimensional analysis much more frequently when we start looking at metric measurements and how we convert those.